It seems to me that entrepreneurs never feel that they've arrived because there's always a fresh new goal to be reached. Renee Mordine is constantly setting herself fresh targets and she's also a hands-on mom. Zaki spent a day with Renee recently who shared her take on the art of living life and building a brand. If there's anything you need to know about eyebrows, then Yuneza Moedin will certainly have the most up-to-date answer. But this is just the best known of her many abilities. Be it communication, business development, brand building or beauty, Yuneza keeps abreast of the latest developments and this includes fitness and wellness. Yuneza is a master multitasker who believes that if something is worth doing, it's worth doing properly. And that's why I am at gym a little... No, a lot earlier than usual. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> are we checking our pulses to see if we're alive because it's 5.30 in the morning? That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> this is new cutting edge technology when it comes to training. Mario has incorporated this into my training program which has assisted me with chronic headaches, lower back pain, my posture has improved significantly, including my knee pain. And Mario can tell you a lot more about this. Designed for high-powered professionals who have access to gym facilities but don't always know exactly what they should be doing, particularly for their lifestyle. So in two and a half minutes a day, based on a very injury preventative lifestyle enhancement style of training, is what we've done for you know, and that's what she's experienced, yeah. So are you guys done with the workout or can I try it out? Oh, you've got to join us, give it a go. Awesome. Okay. Two, and then just gradually fast. And one, three, lean forward. Okay, we just want to check our pulse. Just relax your body, nice deep breathing. So that's it, perfect. All right, well then. Come on, cheers. 5.30 every morning. My goodness. Woo! -hoo. In your line of business, how important is your image? It's like if I had bad eyebrows, would you trust me with your own? No. My image is everything. When I look good, I feel good. When I dress great and I exude all this confidence, I just feel like I can conquer the day. After that intense workout, how do you start the rest of your day? Now it's crunch time. It's only crunch time now. Now it's crunch time, yes. Now I need to get my kids ready for school, get their lunches packed, get them to school and then get myself ready and make my way to the brow bar. So I'm going to meet you there. You're going to freshen up? Let's go. Yuneza has become known as South Africa's brow queen. But this came about almost by accident. Her first business was a spa, and after a little while, she realized that while she offered eyebrow threading as a complimentary service, it actually had enormous potential for development. Yay! Vanessa, what is going on here? It looks like a science experiment. We're engineering on eyelashes. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, well, basically what we're doing, this is very, very new in South Africa. It's from Australia, called a lash lift and an SPM, which is a semi-permanent mascara. It's new, it's trendy, lots of people are going towards having natural eyelashes, but longer and fuller, they, they're straying away from the eyelash extensions. If the client has got very straight, long eyelashes, we can perm those lashes. It's almost like a bra for your eyelashes. Come have a look. As you can see, Zaki, she's applying the setting lotion um, onto her actual eyelashes. And what this is doing, it's going to lift these eyelashes. It's going to create almost like a perm effect. And this is going to last between 4 to 12 weeks. This works fantastically on a client that has got very straight lashes. So when you lift them, you create an illusion of a longer, fuller eyelash. I'm a great alternative for those clients that don't want to have eyelash extensions. You are insanely busy. What does a typical working day look like for you? School runs are an absolute nightmare. Once I get back, it's time to get myself ready and my face and my game on to get to the store. Then I see my clients in between managing my stores and also with product development, training, my branding. However, I still make time for myself and for brunch. Are you joining me? Absolutely. <laughs> Yuneza, so much has changed since the last time we chatted to you. You are the epitome of the independent woman. Have you always been this woman or have you become her? I would say I've always been this woman. Um, being raised in a home with a single mum left me with no choice but to, to, to work hard and achieve and you know make my dreams and work on my ambitions and my goals on my own strength. So I have fought for this, for this independence. As a young Muslim woman, it was difficult being, 
you know, I was questioned very often when I started my business. What sort of mother would you be? What sort of wife would you be? And I think I was able to do this gracefully while keeping my integrity intact. What role does fear play in your life? I believe that the fear of failure is what keeps the fire of ambition burning. I have failed and I've risen above that and I failed again and I rise above that each time. So failure is important. If you were writing your autobiography, what would be in the first chapter? I definitely think I would start my chapter now because now is where I've always dreamed to be. It's my vision, it's my reality that has come to life. And what's that vision? The vision is Naza.com. It's almost like a blog, website, blog, just giving advice and tips and who am I? What's, what's, what makes Naza unique? So I've got something exciting for you today. We are doing my photo shoot for the website and I'd love for you to be part of this. That sounds super duper, but shall we eat first? We need our energy for this one. This looks amazing. I've gone straight to dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Four looks were planned to illustrate Yunesa's personal style on a brand new website and Zaki arrived to see her modeling a glamorous green gown for red carpet occasions. Yuneza doesn't do anything but half measures and her new marketing campaign proves the point exactly. Woohoo! You are a vision. Did you like? I love it. How would you describe your personal style? I'd like to say that I'm elegant, yet classic, but conservative at the same time. Um, I don't tend to show a lot of skin, but I also do like new and hip and amazing trends, but still keeping it within the confinements of classic. What style advice would you give to everyone out there? From my personal experience, less is more. Decluttered, keeping it clean, keeping it simple. If your eyebrows are done and you've got great eyelashes, you don't need anything else. What advice do you have for aspiring entrepreneurs, especially women? Believe in yourself. Believe in your worth and believe in your capabilities. And if you have a vision, and, and I always say, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. And definitely, and I am living proof of that. And your second outfit? My second outfit is inspired by summer. I am loving this 80s look, you know, the bell-bottom pants. So I opted for a red, a deep red bell-bottom trouser and this spin-stripe blue, just so that it can look like I'm on a yacht. Thank you so much for such a beautiful Aww, day. It's only a pleasure. Sweet. I'm glad you were with me in this entire rebranding website launch. It was so much fun. All the way. All the way.